I make it fall. What? I'm not messing with it. I'm totally messing with it. <laughs> what is up? Happy Thursday. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nico Austin Smith. I'm a successful actor based in LA. Go ahead, Google me, vet me, do all the things you gotta do. In this channel, I share with you all the acting career tips and trade secrets that other YouTubers don't share with you about the acting industry. So if you want like a full overview of what I will be doing in this channel, you can go to this link up above. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little tiny baby bell so you can be notified anytime that I post new content, which is every other Thursday. Before we get into today's video, it's time for little housekeeping. Those of you who follow me on Instagram know that every Tuesday I donate to a BIPOC charity or organization. This past Giving Tuesday went out to Children's Defense Fund, which is a nonprofit organization originally based in Washington, D.C., but they also have a chapter here in Los Angeles. They focus on child advocacy and research, and they help give underserved BIPOC youth a head start by holding mentorship and summer reading programs. So if you vibe with what they're putting down, I'll put their link down below and you can go ahead and donate as well. Today is a very, very special day because season two of The Birch premieres tomorrow on Facebook Watch. We'll air every Friday for 10 weeks starting tomorrow. This is the first tour project that I've ever been a part of. I literally had such a blast filming it. And I'm excited to know what you guys think. Drop a comment below if you're already familiar with the show. And if you are, I'd love to know your season two predictions. And be sure to follow me on Instagram for all the behind the scenes goodness. Today's video is all about getting clarity on your specific vision for your career. Just clear. This is not a quick journey. This is not a hit it and quit it, one and done. Like if you wanna do this truly, then you have to understand that this is a lifelong journey. Now, some of you may think some of these steps I'm gonna tell you are but I promise you that they will help in the long run. These are things that I come back to on a monthly basis. Feel free to pause this video. You can write down all the goodness, and keep it in your notebook for later. I'll be here when you get back. With that being said, grab your handy dandy pen and paper. And let's get started. There are five steps. Number one is to get clear on why you want to become an actor in the first place. Do you just want the lifestyle, the accolades? I mean, we all want that, but your why has to be deeper than that. Maybe you see actors on TV and you're like, man, I could do that. Do you love it? I mean, you have to love it because this industry is very ruthless sometimes. It's, if you don't love it, you're just going to be miserable. And no one wants that. Maybe you read plays and books, and then you immediately insert yourself into the character and like start living this person's life and it excites you. Do you just love stories? Storytelling. Maybe you love writing and writing conversations in your head and then acting those out. It may sound insane, but some people do it and I've done it. Or maybe you love being able to transport people into a different world in order to help them heal or to start a conversation about something that's important, something that matters to you. Whatever you choose, it's important to have a reason that ignites your spirit, something that sets you on fire. Well, you can come back to it when times are tough. I mean, you'll have days where you're like, man, I don't even know why I became an actor. <laughs> Okay, your why will keep you saying trust. Number two is get clear on the stories you want to tell and who tells those stories. What's important to you as a human being? What are your morals? What do you stand for? What do you love? Then go ahead and research who tells those stories. The casting directors, the directors, the producers, the showrunners, the studios, the networks, the production companies, all of that's important. Watch their content. Oh. Oh my god, I just noticed how pilly I was. Moving on. Number three, this is a biggie. Number three is get clear on your actor brand. Once you know your why and the stories you want to tell, you can then move into your brand. The best way to describe your actor brand is essentially your essence and what you bring to the table and what you can cast in. Once you have your brand established, it's important for your acting materials to reflect that brand. That's an entire different video. Stick around. Back to the brand. My actor tagline for myself is serial goddess with an edge literally describes me. Now, you don't need a tagline. It's definitely not necessary, but it could come in handy when the casting director asks you that question. So tell me about yourself. In order to figure out your brand, you have to figure out how others see you. How would others describe you? Ask everyone you know to send you 10 words that describe you, your essence, your overall personality, and your looks. Write them down and then highlight the main recurring words. They will come in handy later. When I did this, my main words were ethereal, naive, young, determined, resilient, troubled, and quiet strength. Pretty much what I got. 
go for is to get clear on what you'd be cast in based on your brand. An easy way to do this is to identify the actors who are similar to you. Who do you get compared to? Or who has the same kind of general essence as you? What shows are they in? What have they recently been in? Are the casting directors on those shows? Producers, the directors, the showrunners, the networks. You can track their career through interviews and Getty Images. It may sound a little stocky, but you get a lot of good information out of it. The main thing you want to take away from number four is to get to know the people that hire actors of your brand. Do your research. Keep an notebook. Still with me? Number five, get clear on your career goals. Go crazy at first. Be unfiltered. Be specific. Now close your eyes and visualize it. Enjoy it. This could be your future. Once you've done that, it's time to whittle down your goals into five realistic and achievable goals for this year. So maybe you're just starting out. An example of some of your goals could be to take a good and challenging acting class. Get some on-brand headshots, learn some new on-brand skills so you can put on your resume, self-submit on student films, then audition for student films, take an improv class, read the trades every morning, watch more on-brand shows. Maybe you're more seasoned and you want to find a really yeah agent or manager. Ones that are really rooting for you and are truly, truly in your corner. You deserve an amazing team. Maybe you just want to book a guest star on one of your target shows. All of these are amazing goals. Once you set your goals, find an accountability partner, someone that you really trust to kick your teeth in when you're not following through. You made it to the end, yes sir. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. Click that link for the Giving Tuesday if you're so inclined to donate. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for season two of Crypt TVs and Facebook Watches The Birch. Also be sure to tune in Thursday after next for my next video. If you liked what you heard, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment below because I do respond to all comments within the first 30 minutes of uploading. I upload every other Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific. All right, see y'all soon. Mwah.